Good morning, my name is Umberto Mucci. Today is Sunday, March 22, and this is with the Italian News, a video broadcast from Italy on lockdown. Now, uh, the numbers, yesterday was a very hard day for Italy. 42,681 persons were positive uh, yesterday in Italy. 6,072 patients were recovered, but uh, unfortunately the deaths were 4,825 uh, from the beginning of this crisis. Just yesterday we lost seven, uh, 793 Italian fellow Italians and, and it is very hurt for this. The only news that we could call positive, because we always try to find positive things is that the growth in the number of contagions is slowing down but with a very small almost imperceptible rate now 70 percent of italian uh, italians killed by the coronavirus uh, were in lombardy uh, the 12.5 percent mortality rate of those infected in lombardy is a statistical anomaly as well as a continuing tragedy in the rest of Italy, that the average rate is 4.5% and lower in the rest of the world. Scholars are trying to understand this terrible mystery. Some hypotheses speak of the possibility that the virus has somehow entered the, in the ventilation ducts of some hospitals like SARS did in 2012 in a an, uh, hotel in Hong Kong. Uh, others explain that the ce celebration for the victory in an uh, important soccer match won by the Bergamo team on February 19th uh, with 45,000 fans at the stadium and then the whole city celebrating during the night certainly contributed to spread the virus. But other causes may be the average age of the population, the habit of work ethic pushes a lot of workers to never stop, and the pollution of areas that have many, many factories in Lombardy. Now, yesterday, the Italian government has decided to close, at least until April 3, all any producing productive activity that is not strictly indis indispensable to guarantee essential goods and services. Supermarkets and grocery stores, pharmacies, transport, insurance and banks will, restay, will remain open. Uh, two days ago, the government make, uh, made a call for a medical task force made by 300 doctors in support of hospitals in difficulty for the coronavirus emergency. It will be a team that will start from Lombardy and then move throughout Italy where it is needed. Yesterday, it was announced that 7,220 applications of all ages from all over Italy uh, uh, were sent. This is Italy reacting. This is Italy supportive. This is Italy united. A study published by the Journal Medical Virology has shown that the virus has entered Italy twice, from Germany and China, at different times. This means that, the, that the, we Italians were not the plague spreaders of Europe. We were not. We were those who suffered the event for first. Yesterday started a bridge of light for Genoa with the colors of Italy on all thousand meters of the new bridge designed by Renzo Piano under construction in place of the one that collapsed in August 2018 in Genoa. Light has a particular significance for Genoa whose symbol is the lantern that since the year 1128 uh, has continued to illuminate the city being rebuilt every time it was damaged to signal the, to the ships the enter into the city and to signal to the citizens the approach of the ships. The lighting will take place every day at 7.30 p.m. when in the main squares of Genoa the Italian anthem will play. Now, Italian, Italian tourism is, uh, has been hit very hard. It will close the year with about 172 million visitors and that is a level that, where that was recorded in the mid-60s when air travel was a luxury for the few. In fact, over 260 million people uh, less will be in Italy in, uh, in 2020. That means uh, minus 60%. This is another huge tragedy, and we hope that you will be able to come visit uh, Italy very soon and that you will be do that, uh, uh, doing that a lot. 
Now, a beautiful arti article promoted on the news section of our website, weedidalians.com, says that Italy is il bel paese, the beautiful country, but its people are its real beauty. Uh, we believe that, and we believe that every Italian-American is an Italian, so when we talk about uh, these people, we talk about the Italian-Americans too. This is why I'm asking you to please donate for our fundraising uh, in favor of the Spallanzani Hospital, the Italian most important hospital for contagious diseases. As for yesterday, we uh, reached uh, a good achievement, uh, the goal of 10,000 euros. Uh, uh, actually, we raised the 10,431 euros thanks to 108 magnificent, fantastic, beautiful people who uh, donated. And I want to also thank the Italian American Museum of New York and the Columbus Citizens Foundation who emailed all the members advising to donate and share our fundraising. Thank you very much. Please, uh, I'm asking to do the same for every uh, Italian American association who is uh, watching this video. Uh, we've been working together for uh, many time, many years now. Uh, I presented my book in your uh, capacities. Uh, I've interviewed some of them. Please help us. Please donate. Please collect uh, funds. Please tell your members to donate through our fundraising. The link of the fundraising is in the description of this web of this video. Please help Italy, however you can. We need your help. We need your help now. It's urgent, it's critical, it's fundamental. Please, I'm, I'm counting on, on your uh, love for Italy and your generosity. Please help Italy. I'll see you tomorrow. Ciao from Rome.